While COD games like Black Ops 4 are feared into the fantastical, this Modern Warfare entry is literally all about, well, Modern Warfare. We strapped on our night vision goggles and analyzed every tidbit of intel we could gather from the Call of Duty Modern Warfare trailer. The game's reveal has summoned up feelings of nostalgia for veteran COD players, and the trailer took full advantage by treating fans to the return of an old favorite, Captain John Price of the British Special Air Service. He narrates the start of the trailer as soldiers slip from the shadows. His identity is definitely confirmed when he says his call sign. Bravo 6, going dark. Price has served as something as a main character in the Modern Warfare series, but his inspiration dates even further back. You might remember that there was a British character named Price with an impressive mustache in the very first Call of Duty game and its sequel. Players apparently got attached to this grizzled old soldier, and he looks more badass than ever in the new trailer. With its own story and brand, the game is separate from the other Modern Warfare games and will thus go places where no COD has gone before, namely into current controversy and conflict. We really mean it when we say that the title is fully embracing the phrase Modern Warfare. The new game is set to explore true-to-life events, mirroring actual military conflict and the ensuing tragedy that you might hear about on the news. Syria says it's trying to rid the country of rebels, but human rights advocates say the government is targeting schools, markets, and hospitals. From the trailer, we saw an eerie glimpse of the collateral damage, a little boy wearing a gas mask. Amid the gas and bombs, it's difficult not to think of current situations in Syria, where children fear planes more than anything. We also see relief workers caught up in explosions and the bombing of civilian areas. With those crazy good graphics, we get a first-person perspective of what it's like when Syrian civilians are bombed by Russian planes. You know what happens in real-world modern warfare? Everyone participates and everyone gets caught up in the conflict, women included. As light bled into the hold of a cargo plane, we got a first look at the face of one of our protagonists in the game, Farah Karim. You don't know this from the trailer, but Karim is a rebel fighter in the Middle East. A commander of a freedom-fighting militia, her character is based on the real-life woman of YPJ, or women's protection units in Syria and Iraq. We hear her voice and see her fling herself out of a plane, but we get little to no detail about her actual story. The narrative lead for Modern Warfare, Taylor Kurosaki, said that it was time for her story to be told in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter. He explained, It's far overdue for a character like that, who is based on the reality of war as we know it today, to come to fruition and see the light of day. We couldn't agree more. Raise your hand if you saw Zero Dark Thirty. Yup, that's why you felt deja vu when watching the greenwashed night vision footage of silent soldiers breaking into a quiet compound in the Modern Warfare trailer. This has fans wondering if the emphasis on real-life conflict will lead to a mission or scene based around SEAL Team 6's taking down of Osama Bin Laden himself. This is Red Zero Two. Geronimo. Forgotten country. News networks have put together recreations of the event, mapping out the compound in order to better explain what went down. It could be argued that the folks at Infinity Ward may have recreated the blocky adobe buildings from the fateful raid back in 2011. Bin Laden has only been mentioned tangentially in previous Call of Duty games. Other games like the Kuma War 2 episode The Death of Osama Bin Laden outright remade the assault on the compound. Considering the details from the trailer and dedication to modern warfare, will the new game also recreate the famous raid? The new trailer showed a variety of locations, from the rubble of a Middle Eastern city to an innocuous-looking townhouse to the streets of London in chaos. Recognize those big ads amid the fire and flame? One map will be in London's famous tourist trap, Piccadilly Circus. Rather than tourists taking selfies or shoppers hurrying along, the square is populated with terrorists shooting into cars and police officers taking cover. A bombing in Piccadilly is what sets off the events for the game, in what's sure to be a hugely controversial scene. The imagery is being compared to the infamous No Russian Airport mission from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, wherein players massacred civilians in a Russian airport. This new bombing scene in Piccadilly might similarly hit too close to home, considering the rise in terrorist attacks in cities like London and Paris. Versus designer director Jacob Minkoff said, War isn't on some battlefield anymore. It's in everybody's cities. It's in the cities of the people living in the Middle East. It's in our cities. If we're going to tell a story about modern warfare, terrorism and the global war on terror has to be involved. Otherwise, it's not telling the true story. And after all, modern warfare seems especially concerned with just that, the truth. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more SVG videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.